It's your first day on a new rotation. You just spend the entire weekend slogging through textbooks and feel ready to go. Then your attending scrolls through a case, points to the screen and asks, what do you see? Your mind goes blank. You can't connect the pages that you read to the images on the screen. If you feel that overwhelm, it's not because you're not smart. It's a sign that you're learning radiology the hard way. It's like trying to be a chef by memorizing ingredients, but never learning how to cook. Radiology is hard. It humbles you. I've been there. And most trainees experience some form of burnout during residency. The problem? We're still training residents like it's 2006. But there's an easier path. I learned it in residency and over the past 10 years I've helped hundreds of residents and fellows learn radiology smarter, not harder. I made this video to share that same system with you so you can do less than half the work and feel more confident whether you're just starting, deep in core rotations, or at the end focused on passing your exams and getting ready for practice. In this video, I'll give you a clear roadmap to learn radiology, including which books and resources are actually worth your time at each stage of training, including how to get the most out of ours, how to balance studying versus practical learning so that you're safe on call, prepared for exams, and practice ready, and how to go from feeling like a burden at the hospital to impressing your attending with confident calls. In other words, I'm gonna teach you how to cook. Okay, so broad strokes, we can break down learning radiology into two big categories, acquiring knowledge and practical learning. Acquiring knowledge includes the basics like anatomy, core concepts, and all of the other stuff that you read in textbooks or articles, including trivia, the ingredients. But you're busy. Most textbooks take way too long, are too low yield, and we forget most of it. My philosophy for this is simple. Pick fewer broad resources and know them cold. Mastering one concise high yield resource is way better than skimming through paragraph after paragraph of the classic long form textbooks that put you to sleep. Knowledge comes from smart repetition and supplementation. I'll explain exactly how to do this, how to pass your exams and specific resources later, including how to access a radiology specific AI knowledge search for free that brings all of the best free resources into one. And then there's practical learning, which comes from actually scrolling through cases to train your eye to make important findings, make hard decisions, and learn what actually matters in real life practice. Unfortunately, this is very different from textbook knowledge. You could read an entire chapter on NMRI, show up to work, sit down, and have no idea what you're doing. Practical learning classically comes from practice on the job, but most cases you see don't have much learning value and how much teaching you get at work is variable. So it's a slow, random, and frustrating process, which adds to the overwhelm. To supplement practical learning, there are a lot of great case-based resources out there with tens of thousands of cases for practice. For me personally, just like long form textbooks, that feels overwhelming. I don't know where to start or where to end. That's why we built our platform on navigatingradiology.com. We focus on curated, shorter lists of the most important cases so you can cover a whole topic efficiently with a beginning, middle, and an end. You scroll through real cases on a full screen packs just like you would at work. You practice making findings and making tough decisions. Speak directly with our AI attending for instant feedback and guidance. And alongside the practical, we also teach you the knowledge that actually matters in real life practice. You can try a case for free using the link in the description. Now, you may be asking, where do I even start with acquiring knowledge and practical skills? Well, that depends where you are in your training. We can split radiology training into three distinct phases. Stage one, the beginning, where you learn radiologic anatomy and get safe on call. Stage two, the middle, where you work on core subspecialty rotations. Stage three, toward the end, where the focus shifts to both passing your exams and becoming practice ready. Let's talk about the best ways to acquire knowledge and practical skills at each stage, starting with stage one, anatomy, approach, and emergencies. Early on, too many residents jump right into books that cover all of the pathologies you see on imaging, including oncology, like core radiology. But that's way too soon. 
Focus on the fundamentals. Get comfortable with anatomy on CT in the course of specialties, neuro, chest, abdomen, and MSK, and develop an approach to these studies. As far as books go, Webb's Fundamentals of Body CT is what most people recommend. I read it, it's a great introduction, but if you don't like textbooks, it's not entirely necessary. Most important is to learn anatomy by actually scrolling through real CTs and identifying every structure. Our introductory videos to head, chest, and abdominal CT cover that CT anatomy in depth and give you a solid approach to each study. These are specifically designed to cover what you need at this first stage as efficiently as possible. Most importantly though, pull up a CT while you watch, pause at each structure and scroll to identify that structure. That practice is what actually gets you comfortable with the anatomy. On our platform, we have some free CTs available with labeled anatomy for the course of specialties to get you started with scrolling. Another great resource is eAnatomy, if you're willing to pay. It's excellent for practicing scrolling through the anatomy with labels. Once you get comfortable with the anatomy and have an approach, you'll need to learn to identify the emergency pathologies on the job. This is one of the most stressful periods in residency. You're expected to go from zero to safe on call in a matter of months. Our on-call preparation course is specifically built to cover what you'll actually see at 2 a.m. on call or on your emergency radiology exam, including all of the classic abdominal, chest, neuro, head and neck, trauma, post-op, ultrasound, and other emergencies. We focus on building practical skills, but also teach the core knowledge. Once you start to master the on-call pathologies, you're gonna start to feel really confident with these bread and butter studies, which is awesome. But just as you start to feel yourself a little bit, the middle of residency hits you and you realize there's a whole other world out there. It's the first of many times that the Dunning-Kruger effect hits you in training. For those not familiar with this effect, simply put, you don't know what you don't know. And that brings us to stage two, the core rotations. During core rotations, you are constantly jumping between subspecialties. One month, you're doing chest CT, the next, MSK MRI, then on call, then looking at brain MRI. All of that feels jarring and overwhelming. To acquire the basic knowledge, you need one broad but concise resource that covers all of the subspecialties without being thousands of pages long with long paragraphs. A perfect example, what I use and what many people use, is Core Radiology by Jacob Mandel. It's concise, high yield, and repeatable. One criticism is that it lacks depth, which is true. So you need to use it the right way, as a skeleton that guides you through the topics but requires supplementation. So, how do you use core? As you read each pathology, you need to actively supplement with a variety of resources to build a deeper understanding. Add concise notes to your core book or PDF in your own words to make master notes that will be easy and quick to review later. Knowledge comes from repetition and these master notes give you something you can revisit again and again until it becomes second nature. But which resources? There are countless online resources out there to supplement with, each with strengths and weaknesses. So it can feel hard to know which one to use. To help, I built a radiology specific AI knowledge search that brings all of the best free resources into one. These include trusted academic journals like radiographics and review articles, the best online resources like Radiopedia and RadSource, and society guidelines. Simply ask your question and it'll answer concisely with clickable references. You can try it for free using the link in the description. Back to more traditional resources, if you have access, I would strongly suggest using StatDX to help supplement. I used it a ton in residency. Articles can feel long, so if you're tight on time, focus on the best diagnostic clue, images, and differential considerations. If you don't have StatDX, that's okay. Free resources like Radiopedia are also great. And of course, you'll learn on the job, 
and in lectures. Now more than ever, you can learn radiology with little to no use of the classic traditional textbooks. But I will say that there are some great books that can be helpful depending on your interest in time, but again, they're not necessary. I suggest treating these as supplementary to your understanding rather than core resources. I'll include some of these in the description, but these include arthritis in black and white, specifically the chapter on fights of the spine is excellent, diagnostic ultrasound, the ultrasound Bible. It's very long, so you need to use it very selectively. The scrotal ultrasound chapter was great, for example. A quick word on GI fluoroscopy. I wouldn't spend too much time reading a dedicated book on this. It's becoming a bit Bit more niche, you learn it on the job, and I've created some concise summary notes that give you all of the essentials you need. Again, link in the description. But all of that is just the knowledge for core rotations. Again, you can read the whole chapter, show up to work, and have no idea where to start. To win on rotation and show up to work with confidence, you need to supplement with high yield cases. The key is not picking from thousands of random cases, but a curated set that covers the essentials, including the common and rare but critical pathologies. For example, if you're on neuro, review our brain MRI and spine MRI courses before or during rotation, between cases at work, or a few each night. The result is you show up to work with confidence, ready to jump in, knowing how to handle the common and difficult things on rotation and in rounds. At work, when you encounter something tricky, you can always revisit relevant cases. So you start to get into a groove and your confidence is building again, but then you quickly realize that your licensing exam is less than a year away. And that brings us to part three, getting ready for your exam and becoming practice ready. No secrets here, Crack the Core is the backbone for core style exams. Start earlier than you think and repeat. The same principles apply. Use the margins or extra pages for brief notes that expand your understanding of each topic and build the concise master notes that you'll review again and again before the exam. Radiographics and other review articles are fantastic, but they are far too long to use as your backbone. I'd suggest using these mainly for targeted depth, i.e. to supplement your main resource. Depending where you're from in the world, your exam may look a little different, but of course, exam question banks are often very important in the lead up to the exam. At the same time and after your exam, your focus will shift to getting ready for real life practice. This is another very stressful period. In a matter of months, you'll be signing off reports as final with no review. The buck stops with you and your decisions impact patients. For this period, there is no complete supplement to showing up to work, reporting as much as you can, and gaining practical experience. But there are a lot of things that you inevitably won't cover, the so-called gaps in your training. For example, I spent my one body MR rotation in residency staging only one rectal cancer and not really learning the nuances. The same applied for things like liver and prostate MR, MSK MR, and breast MR. Our courses are specifically built to fill those gaps. Through only about 20 or 30 cases per topic, we cover the essentials end to end and give you the confidence that you saw the common and rare but important things that you need to know for practice. You can try some of our free MRI cases of the month using the link in the description, including MRI rectal, prostate, spine, knee, etc. Okay, let's summarize the key takeaways and concrete first steps to take. Number one. Focus on both acquiring knowledge and building practical skill at each stage of training. Number two, the principles for both are the same. Pick fewer streamlined resources, practice with high yield real cases, and master them. Because mastering less is more when it's the right stuff. If you want the resources to support you on this path, from anatomy and approach to on-call ready to practice ready, you can try our platform for free or start watching this video on the screen to get started right away. Soon, you won't just be trying to memorize the ingredients of radiology, you'll be cooking with the sauce, Chef Curry with the pot. Long distance Curry, catch the prey at the buzzer. And you'll be going zero to 90 real quick. And that is the easy way to learn radiology. Peace.